Hi friends! For those of you worried that the news was gonna get boring once the Bidens moved into the White House, ooh, have I got a story for you! First Lady Dr. Jill Biden recently made headlines, splashy headlines. No, not for her new initiative to help military families, no, for something much more pressing. That is her outfit. Look, look at this, look at this tomfoolery. That's right, in 2021, we've gotten so good at outrage that we can summon it for some pantyhose. And I know what you're thinking, it wasn't just people online, no, legit media outlets dropped everything they were doing to talk about what the first lady was wearing. This is the world we live in. Somehow in today's day and age, we still haven't figured out how to do some basic things like how to edit a tweet, how to stop shooting each other, or how to stop commenting about what a woman should and should not wear. Is this is this just me? I'm sure you're gonna be 0% shocked when I tell you that this is not supply so here. Try to talk about important things, Fly. I swear haters. I'm sure you're gonna be 0% shocked to learn that this is not the only recent sexist thing that Dr. Joe Biden has had to deal with. Let's not forget about the uproar and the chaos over the fact that Dr. Biden, who by the way is the only first lady in history to have a full-time job while in the White House, has a doctorate of education and not a medical degree. We roasting people over the types of doctorates they had. Are you bloody doctorate? We treat people like this and then it's like, mm, I wonder why Dr. Dr. Biden doesn't want to spend another seven years to go to medical school just so y'all can start commenting about her stethoscope and lab coat and say it's not fashionable enough. We never let women win. See, here's the thing, and hear me out on this. Dr. Biden could alternatively just do and wear whatever the F she wants. You feel me? Now, I probably don't have to tell you that this example with Dr. Biden is just one example in a long history of first ladies being criticized for what they're wearing. Martha Washington once revealed a little bit too much petticoat. And of course we can't forget about the criticism that First Lady Michelle Obama faced when she wore a, hear me when I say, sleeveless dress. I can't believe people expected Michelle Obama to wear a dress with sleeves. That's like putting a bald cap on Harry Styles, okay? If you got it, flaunt it. And this is not even like a whack media outlet. This is the New York Times reporting on this. And I'm just like, I would expect this from Buzzfeed or Cosmo or like my drunk cousin. But you, New York Times, you need to take 10, okay? You wild it. And here's the thing, as it turns out, misogyny exists on both sides of the aisle. Because as soon as people started to harass First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, people thought a really good defense would be to then start shaming First Lady Melania Trump. There are so many other valid reasons to shame the Trump family. But let's be real, this issue goes beyond first ladies. It actually even goes beyond the United States. This is a universal issue. Just this month, the French Senate voted to make it illegal for women under the age of 18 to wear a hijab. Y you heard me correctly, yes, that dangerous, ugly, bigoted law, that is what I just said. Great goal in French Senate. Also like, isn't 18 a decade older than the legal drinking age in France? I'm not sure which French senator decided that girls under the age of 18 should be legally forced to wear less. All I know is that they would get along great with Florida Congressman Matt Gates. So once again, for the people in the back, for the people on Twitter, for the people in the French government, stop trying to tell women what to wear. Because it's a double standard and it sucks and it's lame. Because at the end of the day, no one is looking at Kamala Harris's husband and saying, dang, Doug, those khakis are trashy. You yeah, know, you need to drop Esquire from your title. Okay, Nikki Haley's husband would never. Oh my God, thank you so much for watching the show. If you click here, I think you can subscribe to the channel. You click over here, more clips just like this one. Click them.